everybody, it's Lori out here in Las Vegas, and I am with Lori Ballantine, real estate and understandcommand.com. I'm bringing you a training today, and I want you to know that I am an agent just like all of you guys, and I also teach and train and have clients as part of my ballinacademy.com. So if you visit www.ballinacademy.com, you can check out all of my courses. Definitely check out the VIP pass. In today's video, I'm gonna show you that we can now use contact tags to trigger an automated smart plan. This is the day we have been waiting for. So now we can build these uh, smart plans and according to the tag that we choose, we can now start the automation process. And I'm gonna show you how that's done today quite easily. Now in this tab here, I have open answers.kw.com. This is a very helpful resource. And if they roll out anything new, this is the first place I go before I watch anybody else's video or anything like that. Quick bullet points, what do I need to know? And that gets me off and running. So make sure that you have answers.kw.com bookmarked bookmark somewhere on your computer. In addition, when you're inside um, any of the elements inside KW Command, you can click the little question mark and you can uh, go to Keller Williams University and you can type in whatever it is that you're looking for. And you may have to change your search around a little bit for it to find because it's a, a little bit sensitive on the search. There we go. How to create a custom smart plan, how to edit a, an inactive smart plan. If you click on any of those, you also get to these options for these triggers. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to, I'm gonna show you how to apply this. Let me stop that phone from ringing, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to apply this. Now, this is what you need to know. This is a going forward trigger. What this means is that you, if you already have contacts in the smart plan, they are not going to be automatically added uh, if they already have a tag. So for example, we create a smart plan and we're gonna call it um, buyer arrival smart plan. So every, everybody that becomes a new lead, buyer arrival smart plan. And we're gonna create a tag maybe called buyer arrival, sm arrival smart plan or maybe just buyer or web lead. Well, if, if Mary Smith contact record already has the tag buyer, she's not then going to be added to this smart plan. Those of you that have used Infusionsoft or some of the funnel builders, you remember that as soon as you um, created that smart plan, it, asked, it would ask you, do you want all of these people who already have the tag to also be added, yes or no? This doesn't do that. So it's not gonna automatically add them. So you would have to go back and remove the tag and then reapply those tags in order to get them added to the smart plan. Or you would have to come up with a new tag, um, buyer smart plan, and then go find all the tags you want to be added to that. That's a little bit confusing, but um, I would just want you to understand it's a going forward trigger. So it's not, gonna, it's not gonna be retroactive to people that already have the tags. You can add up to 10 contact triggers to the smart plan. 10 contact triggers to the smart plan. So that's 10 different tags, okay? Now, if you remove a tag from a lead or a contact, it does not remove them from the smart plan. That's so important to know that. You still have to go in and remove them from the smart plan if you no longer want them in there. If you edit any of your tags that you have in your command settings, that tag trigger will automatically update in smart plan. So that's the one piece that is automated. Okay, that's fantastic. And if you delete a tag in your settings, then it will also remove the trigger from the smart plans, okay? If you publish the smart plan to the shared library where all the agents are sharing smart plans, it's going to remove all those contact tag triggers because their tags aren't the same as yours, okay? And you must add at least one step first, which I'm gonna show you right now. So bookmark is to come back to if you have any questions. Let's go over and create the smart plans. Very, very simple. We're gonna go up, you can also edit um, smart plans you already have, and I'll show you that too. But if I were gonna go create a new smart plan, I would go up here to create, and I'm gonna call this one sample trigger, because so I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the trigger. Okay, 
Now, before you can worry about the trigger, you have to add your steps, okay? These are your steps on the right-hand side. You can create a task. You can uh, create a to-do to make a call. It doesn't make a call for you. It's a to-do. You can send an email. You can send SMS, MMS, which means text message through Twilio if you have Twilio connected. You can create a pause in between steps and you can add them to another smart plan or you can restart the flow if it makes sense to, to send that one over and over again, okay? Most of our smart plans, we have something like an email, a delay, a text, a delay, create a task, a delay, something like that, okay? So the very first thing, let's just say we get a new um, seller and a, a home valuation lead. So somebody filled out our home valuation lead, right? And I'll just show you this really quick on my um, KW Command website. If you guys have not seen this before, I actually have a subs paid subscription with listings to leads. I'll put a link below in this video if you check it out you actually get 30 days free to use it if you use my link which is double what anybody else gets okay and then i am also an affiliate so if you wind up making a purchase eventually eventually that also benefits me so since i'm already using listing leads for the home valuation request i came in here and i created a mortgage calculator uh that's the wrong one sorry i created a instant home value estimate um widget on this page you see that there so it looks very nice very clean and this is being populated with my widget so check out that link below also my brothers jeff and paul own a kw command friendly marketing company they build these for you they build out the website they they can embed the home value the mortgage calculator and all that so talk to jeff and paul and you can find them over at balanbrands.com there's a link below so let's just say somebody fills out my instant home valuation request and they become a lead, okay? So I'm going to start a campaign, uh, uh, start a new smart plan here that as soon as that home valuation request gets filled out, I'm going to now uh, trigger this smart plan to start working on converting that lead for me. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and click make a call because what I would really like to happen is somebody on the team um, I didn't set this up as a team smart plan. I just realized I could have up here where it says my name, Lori Ballin. If I wanted this to be a team smart plan for all of the team to use, I would be choosing the Lori Ballin team area instead. Okay. If I just create the smart plan under my own name, then I can't, um, that we're not all going to be able to use it. So I would need to select Lori Ballin team if I want the team version to work. Okay. All right, so the first one is make a call. So I'm going to put um, call, and then I'm going to take this little merge field and click that arrow, and that brings me a whole bunch of options where it will merge from the contact record. So I'm going to pull their first name, and I'm going to pull their last name. So call Mary Smith about selling her house. Okay, something like this. Remember, this call is going to show up in my tasks it's not actually making the call for me okay so i could even just repeat this whole section here call mary smith about selling her house if i want to add a hyperlink for any reason here i could do that okay so that's step one is i wanted to immediately to sign a to do to call her in the task list if i'm going to do calls now, I also want her to get a text message immediately from me as soon as possible. Now, here's the caveat with the immediately part. Um, immediately, it actually goes out, uh, What? What? now I have to look it up again. I think it, they said 11 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, either 10 or 11, all the text messages start going out. So if I, and it stops at like seven or eight. So if I were to add this, if that lead comes in automatically and it comes in at 11 o'clock at night, Mary's not going to get an immediate text from me. She won't get the text until Austin time the next morning, which I believe they said 11, uh, 10 or 11 a.m. I have to double check those. So that way nobody's getting blasted in the middle of the night. That's the concept. Now, emails go out all the time. 
but the text messages to my knowledge are structured that way to not be inappropriately timed okay so the next thing we're going to do is a text message so i'm going to just click send sms and then where is it sending from it's sending from my twilio account and then i could put in a text hi and then do the same thing first name hi mary um, remember this is a text it has to be short this is Lori Ballin with Keller Williams Realty I noticed you were doing an online home value estimate using my website um, are you selling soon or in the future okay something like that trying to get a response from her okay there's that and then the next thing I would want to do is send an email I'm not gonna put little delays in between these like wait one day and then send it because there's no reason they can't get the text and the email on the same day around you know and it probably won't be at the same time anyway so the subject matter could be selling your house or it could be um, um, did you get what you needed question mark something like that now this one doesn't have the merge um, name field yet I wish it did I like that better but hopefully that will show up and then you can type an email you know whatever something about you're looking at selling your houses it's a great time to sell and here's why um, when are you looking to sell and you do the same thing and then then what I would do is at the end of this smart plan I'm actually going to add them to another smart plan by clicking that button and I'm going to choose my seller um, survival plan and now they'll start getting going on this drip that starts sending emails and text messages automatically okay once you have your smart plan all done then what you want to do is click save after you save your smart plan that is when the add trigger event appears so let's go ahead and click add trigger event this is what adds your automation so the category is going to be right now it's contacts so it's going to be pulling a tag from our contacts trigger event by contact tag now select tags so if I have a tag for a home value estimate right here home valuation lead I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna click choose trigger now it says this is gonna start your smart plan when a tag is added to a contact but any contacts that already have this tag are not also going to be added to the smart plan if you'd like to add them you're going to use the add to smart plan plan feature in contacts so what we could do is we could confirm the trigger then you go up here and click this little person now we're going to sort by tags and find anybody that has the home valuation um, lead you would select all and now you add them to the smart plan that would be the way i would do it i think it's the easiest so that way you can assign the trigger so that going forward everybody will automatically be added to the smart plan but this will easily allow you to pull everybody else previously and add them. So if you also want to add um, any, other, any other tag you put in there, up to 10, okay? So that is how easy it is now to automate the smart plans with KW Command. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Head over to www.ballonacademy.com. Check out the VIP pass and learn all of my strategies inside Ballon Academy. Thanks for joining me today.